Let's bring in Mariano Rivera. Why? Because he was a great pitcher, a Hall of Famer, and he just got the Presidential Medal of Freedom uh, honor from the President of the United States. Mariano, congratulations. Yes. We covered it. We watched it. What was it like? It was amazing. I mean, uh, uh, receiving the medal award, it was a, 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 a privilege and honor. You know, I mean, uh, being a, an immigrant and uh, come here and uh, uh, being a citizen here of the United States, and uh, for me, it was uh, something special. It was special. And how did it make you feel that uh, somebody at the White House decided, you know what, let's make sure when he walks out, he walks out to the song he walked out when he <laughs> took the mound at Yankee Stadium, Sandman. Still, that was, that was something special. Again, you know, I mean, uh, they did a good job because, I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I was asking all the guys why you didn't come out to Mr. Sandman, bring me a dream. They were like, you're kidding me, right? <laughs> Metallica's much more tougher. All right, tell us your story. How did you, because there's so many little kids watching that want to be there you when they grow up. Well, me, uh, 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 man, baseball was one of my passions. I mean, I wanted to be a soccer player in Espelé. But oh, really? baseball was somewhere uh, there, and the Lord just put it in, in my path. You know, I wasn't even trying to uh, be a professional baseball player. When did you know you had talent, though? Well, I mean, I knew I have a little talent, but the Lord took it to a different level. You know, because, I mean, my talent was good enough to be in, in maybe in single A on a rookie ball. But the Lord took it to a different level. And, uh, you know, uh, 24 years after that, I, was, I played 19 years in the big leagues. Yeah. So, so the one thing I thought from the baseball perspective, when you were the setup for John Wetland, who was the closer, I thought that was the craziest thing to get rid of John Wetland. I thought, what are the Yankees seeing this guy? They think he could be the next stopper. Did you have any <laughs> doubt by 97 after winning a World Series that you were ready for that? Oh, my God. I mean, I wasn't ready. I mean, I always say that whatever they, the Yankees needed me, I would do it. But I wasn't ready for that position, you know, because that was my, full, my second full year in the big leagues. Yeah. And then uh, I would say the same thing that you said, you know. Uh, <laughs> young Wetland is gone, so who's going to close? They told sure. me you. So right. they said me. Oh my God, you know, I mean, but it was a great challenge and uh, uh, I took it like that and uh, thank God that I was able to, uh, to do that job. Uh, Mariano, you have with you the Medal of Honor. Yes, sir. Medal of Freedom. Is mm -hmm. to say, it is beautiful. Where exactly. are you going to keep it at your house? Uh, well, it's going to be doing it in a special place. Uh, I receive also a medal uh, in Panama that is dear to my heart and uh, definitely this will be uh, next to it. What Indeed. was the reaction in your home country uh, when they when you got this? Like, did you get a response from your family and friends back home? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I got a lot of response from family and friends. You know, I mean, uh, you always uh, gonna have positive and negative. You know, because I mean, uh, they would say, well, this guy is in America. He thinks that he's American, and they, they they don't know. You know, I mean, I I, I love being a Panamanian. Yes. You know, that's my country. That's my people. Thing I love being in the United States because they opened the door for me and my family. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, so I mean, uh, my heart is in both uh, countries, but at the same time, I can never, uh, uh, I represent the Panamanian people, I represent sure. the Latino people, you know, and, and for me, it's an honor and a privilege. You know but also I'm being in a, uh, uh, here in America, you know, I, I'm also proud of that. I've noticed you always give credit to God and your faith, and people love that about you. You were, not, you were unanimously admitted into the Hall of Fame. Not, that's never happened before. Every single person who voted said that you should get in. So it says a lot about your character. Tell us a little bit more about that. How did you come to know the Lord? Well, I mean, uh, amazing uh, uh, situation because, I mean, uh, at the age of 24, I received uh, my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, as, as my Savior. And, and from there, everything has been uh, different. I won't, I won't say it easy, but different. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, different in the way that, uh, uh, yeah, we go to struggle. We go to, uh, I face walls, I face giants. But at the same time, I trust the Lord, you know, and, and it's been great. So definitely uh, 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 nowadays, knowing and understanding that mm -hmm. the Lord was the one that brought me here. I, I, can, oh, I can never stop talking about him. So the one thing I always think that sports is life in, in a composite, and everybody can be happy when you win a World Series, but I think the thing that impressed me most is how you acted when you didn't. You had heartbreaking losses to the Red Sox and the Diamondbacks, and I didn't even see the difference between your celebration and your devastation. Where does that come from? <laughs> well, again, you know, come from understanding the gaming, understanding that, you know, most of the time, you're going to win, you know? And those 
games that you will lose, they won't tell you which one you're going to lose. You know, therefore, I understand, and, uh, you know, they were hard. Don't get me wrong, you know, I, I, I mean, I wanted to continue playing the next day, but uh, uh, it, were, it was impossible. So, I mean, I had to take uh, my losses the same way that I take my victories. So, I mean, uh, uh, I was... Easier okay. said than done. It, it's easy yeah. to say, yeah, easy to say than done. But, right. uh, again, you know, I mean, I was blessed on, on all of those. Well, thank you very much for joining us, telling us the story. And uh, good luck to you. Uh, ladies uh, and gentlemen, you. the greatest of all yeah, time. Yeah, right. yeah, right. the President's yeah. Fitness Council, so he still <laughs> wants you to work for him, right? Oh, yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Right. Thank you. Right. Thank, thank you, you. Such an honor. Thank you. Great.